Before you get your panties into a bunch, the title is a joke. I just thought it was really funny. I think that the title of this movie is very funny. I do not think we should be making fun of anyone based off of their looks unless they are a horrible person, of course. But I just thought that title would be really funny. Before we get into this movie, I do want to put a little disclaimer. I'm sick and I am on day 10. Day 10 of my period. So if the moods are a little bit more irritable today, let's just let it happen. I would much rather my anger be pushed out at this movie than a beloved film. As I mentioned before, Uglies is based off of a book series that goes by the same name. This book series was actually one of the first dystopian book series of popularity. Like this one came out before Divergent. It came out before The Hunger Games. Those are just like popular ones that I mentioned, but Uglies was really interesting because you would have thought that in that time where things were getting greenlit to be movies or tv shows this would have been within that group but it kind of just slipped through the cracks and maybe this was greenlit and they just had it in the works for a really long time but it was a very popular book series i remember seeing it every single time i went into barnes and noble it never really caught my eyes i was never much of a dystopian sci-fi book type of girl i was always into romance or fantasy and before we get into this make sure you guys go subscribe to my patreon if you were subscribed to my patreon you would have got this video on early release with no ads so if you would like to get videos with early release no ads and some extended cuts make sure you guys go subscribe to my patreon it's only five dollars a month today's video is sponsored by surfshark Surfshark VPN is a way that you can browse the internet and feel a lot more secure and safe while doing so. A VPN is a virtual private network and using a VPN is basically like putting on pants before you go outside. You cover up all your important parts and it's all covered and protected when you step outside into the real world where everything is really gross and nasty and dangerous. A VPN covers your whole internet activity. So once your device is connected through a VPN, it basically encrypts your information, blurring it in some type of way so that you're not just basically flashing the whole world with your data information. Surfshark has your whole house covered. So that means no need to count your devices. With one Surfshark account, you can cover your whole house and have them all using a VPN. Surfshark also has a 30 day money back guarantee. So if you're not happy with your service, you can get your money back within 30 days. There's lots of dangers online while using the internet without a VPN. But one thing that is very important to me because I work remote, so sometimes I work in places that are not my home, I will be using public Wi-Fi. When you're using public Wi-Fi, you're basically saying, hey everybody, I'm here. Look at me, look at me. But with a VPN that makes you covered. So you can go incognito whenever you are working privately because I don't wanna be sharing all of my precious information with the guy that's sitting over next to me at the coffee shop that could be a hacker. Surfshark has over 3,200 different servers across a hundred countries. So no matter where you are, you will be covered. There's no logs on this VPN and they have 24 seven customer support. So if you're having an issue, they got you. Secure your privacy with Surfshark and use my code TRIN to get four extra months. You guys can also click the link at the top of the description. Thank you Surfshark for sponsoring today's video. Spirits are down, throat hurts. Juno's here. Play. So fucking loud. That was like the loudest da dung I've ever heard in my life. All my life I wanted to be pretty. I thought it would change everything. And that's period. So they came up with a radical solution. What is it? The transformation. Whatever that means. Everyone is healthy, happy, pretty. Yes, but well yes! Until then, we're less than, ignored. People call us... Uglies. Because by their definition, you are. If there's like a transformation that everybody undergoes, then yeah, you're ugly. Mirror, make me pretty. Me. Oh my God. Me with the bold glamour filter on TikTok, like actually. Like nose. One thing that they're never gonna do, they're never gonna give Joey King a good wig. They're never gonna let her have a nice wig in anything. She's always gonna have a like fucked up wig and you're never gonna be able to not notice it. 
The only time she didn't have a fucked up wig is when she was bald in uh, I Feel Pretty or whatever it's called. I don't know what that Gypsy Rose thing was called. We're having so much fun. Not one single person looks- Oh my god, Lucky Blue mention. Where's Nara? I made my beautiful husband from scratch. I mean, you will be there in exactly three months. Yeah, but not tomorrow, like you. Realistically, if they're undergoing a transformation the next day, I'm sorry, this is gonna sound really mean. I'll say this. I don't think I'm the after transformation part of anyone. But we need to have some before and afters of what the pretty transformation does. Like show us Lucky Blue Smith before. Who was his ugly originator? And I'm sorry, these people are too old to be playing 16. My nose will haunt you forever. Just like I'll always be squint, even when my eyes fit my face. Yeah, but I like your eyes. What? I mean, She's called squint because her eyes are squinty. I didn't say it, she said it. And his is nose because he's got a big fatty nose. His nose is fine, if anything- No, I'm not gonna make a comment about his appearance. That's not the point of this. And her eyes, Joey King has some of the biggest fucking eyes I've ever seen. So why didn't they choose someone with smaller eyes? I'm looking at Joey King, if she's called Swint, what the fuck am I called? Because my eyes are significantly smaller than hers. And that's not even trying to be de self deprecating. Like my eyes are genuinely just smaller than hers. If anything, she should be called like doe eyes or something. She got big eyes. All dorms report to Farron Auditorium. So it's just a whole auditorium of uglies. The David? I heard he's dangerous. He's a revolutionary. Yeah. Oh, they did add a prosthetic to his nose. I see it. I didn't even notice it. That's like how non-big his nose is. Preferred eye color? Gold. Scan 200 complete. Someone with blue eyes would never pick gold. I'm so sorry. Like she has beautiful blue eyes. She would never change. She would never pick them to be Fucking yellow. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. He can't hear you, his nose is gone. So they keep all the uglies like locked up and making sure that they don't like what? Like procreate? Wouldn't the goal not be, okay, let me, I'm gonna try to say this without sounding like a really fucked up, person. If I was a society maker within this society of uglies, I don't think my solution to making people pretty would just be to have them have a plastic surgery modification at age 16. If I was stupid and I lived in a society where I wanted everyone to be pretty, I would breed the pretty people together, right? And not saying that I would do that now. Like I think ugly people deserve the rights just like any other person. Like, ugly people deserve rights too. I don't think that like, you shouldn't be able to live because you're ugly. You can still become ugly after modification. Nose, where are you? He's gone, queen. But what if you're too ugly? Like beyond, like you're too far gone that you, that not even surgery will help you and they just kill you. But I don't think that that would happen. Who let her have the Yesify pig mask? And it, if they were all pretty, they would they would have chosen her a more attractive dress. Do you know where Garbo Mansion is? <laughs> right there. Oh, that's the, oh my God, that's the motherfucker from Tall Guy, Tall Girl. Just a bunch of white models in this movie, great. I mean, it's beautiful. Paris? Oh my God, he looks so scary. It's a great costume. Thanks. Yeah, except the safari party is actually down on the square. Oh, he looks no, so it's horrifying. It's me. Oh, uh, he's like, no uglies allowed, actually. Tally. You cannot be uh, in here, Ugo. We said best friends forever. Maybe we will be. His nose is still fucking big. And I love a big nose. Like, I'm not at all shaming that. But I'm just saying, like, if you make a whole big stink about his nose being that big, make it big for real. And if it's going to be small, make it fucking small. Yeah. Welcome individual. Oh my god, a fucking Uggo. An Uggo is in the room. Yeah. 
That's so funny that it's like, oh my God, catch that uggo right now. It's like, what happens if she's ugly and she's in the pretty society? Is like, she gonna infect everyone with her ugliness? And I don't think she's ugly. Like, I don't think Joey King is ugly. Like, please don't, don't make that a new thing. I do not think Joey King is ugly. I'm just saying that in her character, in this world, she's an ugly right now. She hasn't had her pretty modification yet. The city city. No one does that. It's everything they promised us. Do these people work? Like when you become pretty, do you have a job? Or do you just like, your whole job is just being pretty. You don't have to do anything else. Cause they're in school right now and then they become 16 and then they do pre-modification and then they go to the city. What do they do in the city? What color eyes do you want, Shay? I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna get gold to match my hair. Why would you pick that color combination? That would look horrible. Yeah, I know we're gonna be late for class. Oh. We're not going to class. So she got over her best friend really easily. I hope they I hope they do a blood oath. Three, two, one. <laughs> this was like a Nickelodeon movie. Yeah, like a Nickelodeon movie. I if you keep showing me <laughs> Yesified Joey King, I'm going to kill you. Cause it like literally does not look different from how she looks right now. Should I double my left side? Because my right side is, I, I hate it. <laughs> and it's not a pretty transformation by societal standards if they get to pick it out. If they get to pick out every feature they want to enhance, then it doesn't really, then it's not really a societal like mandatory surgery of making them universally pretty because they're picking it out on their own. <laughs> It's cool to do futuristic technology in a movie, but wouldn't you want to show technology that is different from what we already have? Like in Divergent, they could like go into your dreamscape and like look into your dreams. That's pretty cool. This should have been something altered. I don't think we needed to see them skateboarding that much. Maybe just swimming. <laughs> what happened to swimming? What happened to just boating? Why do we have to hoverboard everywhere? Shay, who are you calling? David. Who the fuck is David? It's simple and beautiful. Wait, you've been there? And, well, no, I, I mean, I've met with David a bunch of times here. Who is David? Is David their like biblical figure? Who is David? That's... I can't. I can't. Dolly, please. I'm so sick of feeling like I'm less than. I think that this movie is trying to like send a message. But yeah, I think like a majority of people now would watch this movie. Maybe like 10 years ago. Maybe 10 years ago. This movie was released in 2014. That might have been a little bit more uh impactful to say like we know the choice nowadays like but if it's between being pretty and being free everybody's always gonna choose being pretty like the amount of people that like snap their fingers and get ozempic like that because they want to fit into the societal standard of being skinny if people have the choice they're gonna pick it like it's not a very hard thing to say. And it's not something that I really want to like advocate about. Like, I'm not gonna say I'm above it. I don't think anyone that has gotten plastic surgery is like inherently bad. I don't like to tie morality to plastic surgery. I think that's a really odd thing to do. This is not really a debate of a question. <laughs> like, it's not really a debate of a question this movie proposes. And I'm not saying that dystopian films have to, like not every single movie is gonna be like a Hunger Games, but even like the sole fact of like Divergent where it's like, if you had to take a test and choose where you wanted to go for your entire life based off of your personality, would you do something selfless like abnegation? Would you go into education like erudite? Like, would you pick like something in your field and stick with that for the rest of your life? Or would you break the mold and be divergent? But the question that this 
proposes of a dystopian world of if you could choose to be pretty and if pretty was the mandatory, would you break out of the mold? I don't think many people would. I don't think many people would and I don't think that's a crazy thing to say. If people have the option to be pretty, they'll choose it. If you have the money and the means to do it, people will choose it. You see how people transform once they have money. They completely change. Cause money can buy you prettiness. I want people to see me. I see you. I think this would have been much more interesting if Shay was a lifelong best friend that like made the decision rather than being a new friend that was like, I'm running away. It's like, we honestly don't give a fuck. It's not a major holiday. Like, I don't give a fuck if you're leaving. I just met you two days ago and became friends with you two days ago. I am not gonna follow you. It would have been more impactful if her friend, Big Nose over there was like, hey, we're best friends. I'm going to the forbidden land of ugly people. But we need your help. Shay's missing. Why do they care about Shay? Like, if you're not gonna choose to be pretty, then why would we care about you? Duh. We believe she's been brainwashed by a man named David. He gets people to trust him and then holds them against their will. Who the fuck is David? Like, was he mentioned earlier? Because they brought up his name like it was like, oh my God, you're meeting up with David and I don't know who David is. You're gonna send me back to the dorms? Only until you can help. No surgery for Just you, try. Ugo, if you don't fess up. Open, please. Ew. He literally looks batshit crazy. He looks even crazier in this light. He looks like long legs. I'm not even joking, guys. I'm not even joking. He looks like fucking long legs. It's just different there. You'll feel different there. They offered him another upgrade on his surgery if he convinced you to fess up. He's going to get his roots done next if you fess up. Look up. Oh, ow. Once you found the weapon, signal us with this necklace. Like I literally don't like this because it's like, uh, I hated that like the main character like doesn't give a fuck. Like I love a main character who's like, uh, ambitious and wants to be against the grain by choice. I don't like it when they're like, uh, do whatever the fuck this is. Cause I don't really understand how this is helping anyone <laughs> who set the flower field on fire who did that and who was that fire is catching and if we burn you burn with us i'm david and david is supposed to be the leader of the uglies david is supposed to be the leader of the uglies and he's like beautiful that doesn't make any sense. If you're gonna be the leaders of the uglies, you better be fucking ugly. Sorry. You're clean. They did that in the middle of the fire. Why would they do that in the middle of the fire? First thing, if you wanna be pretty, Tally, no, go be no, pretty. Wait, 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 just wait. Get the fuck out of here. This is campus for uggos only. If you wanna be pretty, get the fuck out. If I showed up to the ugly camp and everybody looked like really pretty, I would also want to get the surgery and then come back. If everybody looked hot as fuck in the ugly camp, then I would be like, okay guys, let me get the surgery first and then I'll come back and be ugly with us all. Cause you guys obviously aren't ugly, you're cute and you're embarrassing me. Like you're serving, your body is tea and you're embarrassing me because you're eating. So let me go get the procedure and then I'll come back and join the revolution. We have created in our lab the base serum. When the two are combined properly, we'll be able to heal the lesions. You're right. I'm diverging. It's the same vial. It's the same glass vial that she does in Divergent. You're right. I'm divergent. I'm divergent. I mean, I came here for myself. I don't know how to say this. I just, I was told these lies my whole life and believed every word. He's gonna be like, yeah, I knew. <laughs> you think we like, we didn't know? No. What you do, the way you think, makes you beautiful. Well, that's rich coming from someone who has integrity and is beautiful. <sighs> Oh my god. Who? 
Ew. He looks so incredibly bad. Like, at least Laverne Cox looks good. He looks so bad. It's like actually so crazy. Like, you expect him to be the most powerful being here, the strongest being here. That's kind of crazy. And a warbler with eyeliner did that to your father. You didn't tell me that you would hurt anyone. Ooh. You didn't tell me. I vouched for you. I thought they all knew that she was with them. She just told you. She literally told him the night before, like, you don't know who I really am. And you're like, no, you're beautiful inside and out. Like, you literally were like, stop it, queen. Like, you're beautiful inside and out. Love you. Give me a kiss. And now you're like, oh my god, how dare you? In fact, all of your procedures have been scheduled. <laughs> you're all becoming pretty. You can buy your hair if it won't grow. You can fix your nose if he's a soul. Listen, I tried to destroy the pen and I didn't know that it would call them. I didn't know. You're the reason his dad died. Every word was a lie, they Tally. Me. They threatened me. What did they threaten you with? <laughs> Did they say they would hurt Shay? They said that you would hurt Shay. They're a liar. They said that they would not give you your pretty surgery if you didn't do what they said. Like, she didn't give a fuck about Shay. She says, bye Shay. See you later. I'm getting my pretty surgery. And then they were like, you're not getting that surgery if you don't do what we say. And then you were like, ooh, I have to come. You don't exist. Don't hurt me. Well, you're David, that's David. I'm David. We need your help. If David was set, like a figure that was supposed to lead us all and a teenage boy showed up, I would be like, absolutely not. You're not helping me. I'm the voice in your head and I'm How did they do that? Let me in. Let me in. Of course you're gonna bring out those fuck ass hoverboards. <laughs> They're all in one room. Why would they put all the people in the revolution in one room? I would think that an entire group of people that just escaped would make a plan to escape. Oh my god, she's gonna be yes if I say. No, it's not. It's too late. She's yesified. Guys! 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 What the heck? I didn't think it was actually gonna be like she. they came in and she was yassified. They came in and she looked like London Tipton. What happened? It's like you're not even trying at this point. Like you're not even trying to like, you're not even trying to give me something to work with. You're trying to make me giggle. And it's working. Shut your eyes. She looks awesome. Golden, just like you always wanted. You're so golden. You'll be happier this way. But I won't be me. No. This is me. Look out, cause here I come. They need to watch The Greatest Showman and they will change their minds on whether or not they want to conform to societal standards. That's your one off. No, we need to shoot him. That seems just gonna piss him off. Don't ever call me Big Nose again. <laughs> We need to kill him. Like, he serves no purpose. We need to kill him. He looks crazy, and that's Can enough to kill him. If you look crazy as him, you need to die. Like, why does he have full glam on? Why does he have a full Huda face on? Like, why did Makeup by Mario do his makeup? No, no kill him! Kill him! No. If I looked at that man on the edge of a cliff, I wouldn't grab his hand either. Perform medical experiments on an unwilling subject. That's the difference between us and them. I'll do it. Oh my god, she's like, I, I literally just want to see what? myself yassified, so please let me go. And I want you to do it. Cable could kill you, Tali. I know. 
oh, thank God we're actually gonna see like the full glam version of Joey King in this movie. Cause if we got, if we went through this whole movie seeing the digital version of her upgraded face and we didn't actually get to see it in real life, I would have been pissed off. We'll lose you like we lost Shay. No, you won't. But Shay would have wanted you to do it on her even if she was unwilling. She acts like she's given herself up, but she like really just wanted that surgery this entire time. Don't lie, you wanted the surgery the entire time. This is not something that is like, oh, you're pulling my teeth to make me pretty. You wanted it and that's okay. Just admit it at least. Would you like the lighting adjusted? No, it's perfect as it is. She looks like Alison De Laurentiis from the back. Where were you on Labor Day? Are you experiencing any anxiety? If she has on another fuck ass wig with a weird hairline, I'm gonna lose my mind. I love being pretty. Where the fuck is her face? What is that? Like, okay, let's look at her pretty face. There's literally nothing different from herself that we just saw. And this, she has a middle part, her hair is blonde and long, and she has gold eyes and a bronze smoky eye and a nude lip on. If being the yesified modification of yourself is just putting on makeup, then we've lost the plot. This doesn't make, if sh she should have looked completely unrecognizable at this point. Like that is where I see the true loss, like, and to see the true like, horror of it all like you know that episode of like the twilight zone where it's like they all have pig noses and that's like the societal standard is for everyone to have pig noses and stuff like that like that's what i want to see something drastic something crazy but just seeing a bronze smoky eye like they do j-lo's makeup on everyone and expect us to be like oh my god this beauty modification has gone too far. Was it better than other dystopian films I've watched? Sure. Was it better than Divergent? No. Was it better than The Maze Runner? No. Was it better than The Hunger Games? No. So maybe it wasn't better than some of the movies I watched. And that's not to the fault of the actors. I don't think that the actors did a bad job. I'm not under the guise and under the like hate mob that I think that Joey King is a horrible actress. Like I think she serves in what she serves in. And then when she does, teen adaptation like book to movie films she plays the part how they write it and i think that like everybody did a great job keith powers did a great job i think laverne did what she could with the script but for dystopian i find it to be like it needs to be more horrifying than what this is this is not very and not that it necessarily has to be horrifying but like this idea doesn't really make me think because everybody already knows the answers most people, if they had the option of having a surgery to make themselves prettier or not, most people would choose yes. Most people do choose yes. When people have the means and the money to become prettier, they do. Most people in your life probably have filler, Botox and more. It's a very normalized thing. And I'm not here to say whether that's a bad thing or a good thing. I'm just saying that this futuristic idea is not so futuristic anymore and kind of is like a standard amongst society. Whether that's a good thing or not is up to you to decide, but this is not a thinker story. It's not a what if scenario. It's already happened. Things needed to be modified if this was gonna be put out in 2024. You can't just leave it the same as if it was written in 2005. I want a second movie. Make the whole series a thing. I would like to see the second movie because I want to see them try to convince her to de herself. I want to see them tell her, stop it, remove the smoky eye, please. I really want to see them do that. So please give us a second movie. I also want to see more from Keith Powers because I actually really liked him in this role. I thought he was so fine and so delicious and probably the best part of the movie. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys subscribe if you wanna see more videos from me and turn on your notifications bell as well if you wanna be notified every single time I post a video. I'm sorry that my moods were a little bit down in this video. I have been suffering through the entire filming with cramps and a sore throat. I've literally been hacking in between like speaking because my voice keeps getting all like disgusting and full of phlegm. Make sure you guys subscribe to my Patreon as well if you wanna see extended cuts and early access with no ads. Uh, there'll be a link in the description box. It's $5 a month for all that. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.